Ricky, the start of LV Cup action this weekend and Gloucester, a real tough test to uh, open your defence. Yeah, obviously we've talked about you know, their threats in the week and what they're going to bring and it's a, a West Country derby game so it's going to be you know, really competitive. You know, we've got a, a different group of players, they're going to take the field on Saturday and, and those guys are really hungry to, to put in a performance and move us forward. So I know Gloss will be the same, you know, there are a few changes obviously in their coaching staff and their structure in the off-season and you know, they're building momentum so they're going to come down and really competitive and I think it's going to be a hell of a game. Looking over your shoulder, Dean Mum back in the side this weekend, Luke Koundicky after long-term injuries. How big a boost is that to get those guys back? Oh, it's massive. You know, Mumsy was our captain last year and he led from the front on, you know, on and off the field. And to have him involved in, you know, in the LV Cup, to have his leadership qualities and what he brings you know, on and off the field is a massive you know, testament to him. But you know, also for those, those younger guys to be playing alongside him is going to you know, be a real valuable tool for them. And, yeah, Luke's Luke. Yeah, he always comes with massive energy in everything he does, and yeah, you'll see on Saturday he's just keen to get back and playing. And yeah, if we can get him up and running and injury-free, you know he's going to be really pushing for you know to be part of the squad going back into the Premiership block, and also obviously yeah moving forward from there on as well. We've seen in recent years that the whole LV Cup, how you used it as a development tool, and this week we saw the likes of Dave Ewers, Henry Slade, Jack Noel, all in an England squad. Two three years ago, they were playing in this very competition for the first time. Yeah, definitely. I think. Yeah, that's a, the real positive of the LV competition. You know, obviously we won it last year and we did go stronger in the latter stages. But if you look back to the group stages and the players that were blooded in those, you know, those tough games, you know, it is a real good development tool for us. And I think linked into those players being down at the loan clubs, you know, the Corns Pirates and Plymouth and the relationship we built there, and then topping them up with these LV games, you know, is part of our development pathway for these younger guys. You know, Sam Simmons broken into. Um, Plymouth's first team. He's come back, you know, for this weekend. You know, I think he'll be one to look out for, and there'll be a sprinkling of other players that are you know, holding their hands up, you know, to push on from our academy structure as well. As someone who's worked so closely with the academy, how excited do you get when you see these guys rise as they do? Yeah, obviously, yeah. This week, obviously, taking over the team as well, and then seeing those guys come in and and how well they're developing. You know, I think it's a massive credit to them, you know, that they're working hard as well. You know, I think as a club, we do put a lot of time into them. And, it's shown that you know, with Slady, with Dave Ewers, with Jack, uh, Noel, and, and even other players, you know, Joel Conan, who's you know, in England under 20s World Cup winner, you know, it doesn't always have to be about you know, necessarily playing for England. You know, we want the guys to be playing for Exeter. And I think it's massively exciting for myself, you know, for Rob Gibson, Robin Cowling, and, and Robbie Bed, and all the people that are linked into the academy structure to see these guys coming through. And you know, Saturday's going to be another sort of test to see where we are as an academy, but also as a squad. You know, I think. We had a massive momentum swing in the Premiership. You know, we're third in the table. You know, we've just come out of the, you know, the European competitions, top of our group. And you know, for this group of players individually, it's a test for them, but it's also a test for them to, to move the club forward as well. You know, I think when we go back to Northampton in the Premiership, it'll be a measure of what these guys do in the next couple of weeks, that, you know, how we can attack that Premiership block as well. Particularly at home this season, you've created real momentum. And I think you said to me earlier in the week, you don't want that momentum to stop. You wanted to go another notch again. Yeah, yeah. If we, we we've got a massive opportunity. You know, we are defending the cup, and we yeah, we haven't necessarily talked about that, but obviously it is something that we're you know, we're we're aiming for. If we can get out of our group and push into the latter stages, we've got the perfect opportunity this weekend and next weekend. We've got two home games. You know, so I think if we can get the crowd behind us, which I know they will be. You know, anyone that comes to Sandy Park, both as a supporter from Devon and Cornwall, from up country, will say that you know, Sandy Park is a fortress from the way the crowd is. I think if we can get the crowd behind them and, and get them going, I think the players have got a massive challenge there to, to give the support someone to play and see that they're playing for, if you know what I mean. So we, we talk about as coaches a lot about showing emotion, showing the fans how much it means to them. And when we do do that, the crowd gets behind us and. You know, having two home fixtures is a massive you know, positive, but we've got to turn that now into two results.